guys, this video is going to be a book review of The End of the Day by Claire North, author of many books that I have read and reviewed, links in the description for all the reviews I've done of her books before. I've really loved them, so this is no exception. Charlie is the harbinger of death. Not the actual horseman of the apocalypse, just the person that is employed by death to go before him as either a courtesy or a warning. Charlie gets to do a lot of things that he likes in this job. Travel, meet interesting people, talk to them about things such as just, you know, music and among other things. That's not to say that the job is all fun and games though. Charlie has been kidnapped, beaten and seen unspeakable things. This book is Charlie's story and through him, Death's story and the story of all the people that the two of them meet along the way. So this book is really, really interesting. I really, really enjoyed it. And it gave me a hell of a lot of things to think about. There were some really high concept ideas that I had never really thought about before in just in the book. I really wasn't certain what to think of them. And I'm going to unpack that a little bit more in this review than I would normally do because there's not a lot of plot in this book. The story mainly consists of very disparate tales of things that Charlie's done and people that he's met, and the only connection between them is that Charlie was there. One could argue that the book is the story of Charlie's mental breakdown from the stress of the job, but it still kind of redeems itself a little bit from that at the end, so... The biggest theme in this book is about People being people, no matter what they do. Now, that is obviously something that I have thought about a lot before, because the fact is that people are people. No matter what people like Hitler and Stalin and other people that we think of as monsters do in their lives, they are still people. They are still, to a certain extent, worthy of some level of respect. This is a very difficult thing for a lot of people to accept. I've struggled with it a lot over the years, and I really think that this book covers that very well. It sort of does explain a lot on that topic, and I think it does it quite well. It really humanises people that some of the characters in this don't think would be actually people. I really found the concept of death employing someone and then having them go before them, keeping an appointment book that needs to be stuck to as much as possible, that was fascinating. Especially as it wasn't just about the death of people, it was also about the death of concepts and ideas and that sort of thing. One who honours the living for death. It was an enlightened idea and made me really think about would I want to know that a change is about to go on in my life before it happens, but, like, not know what sort of change it is. I still honestly don't know. Especially as the line between courtesy and warning was incredibly thin in this book. And the thought about the deaths of concepts was... that was really fascinating in and of itself. It covered all sorts of things like the death of a dream, and the loss of hope, and the change between being a poet and being a warrior, and all this sort of stuff. Monumental changes in people's lives, and the whole thing was just really abstract at times, but at the end, despite it having been strange throughout the book, it made a lot of sense, and I felt it was covered really quite strongly and quite well throughout this book. Overall, I would say that I really enjoyed this book. It was a really interesting concept. I hadn't really thought of a lot of these ideas before, but I wish that I had, and the fact is that it covers them really, really well. The book really gave me a hell of a lot of things to think about, and I would highly recommend it to basically anyone at all. Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts on Claire North and her books are, and also what the biggest change that you think Charlie or someone like him would be coming to you to talk about. I think mine would probably be something to do with how bad of a time that I had at college the first time round was, and sort of the change in my life that happened since then, but honestly, 
really difficult to tell. I would love to know what you think, so let me know down below. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you remember to like and share it and subscribe to my channel. Click on the thumbnails down below to see other videos by me, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.